Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Here at The Hanger Project, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. We often receive the question from customers, is the Saphir Medal d'Or shoe polish really the best? The short answer is absolutely yes. And the purpose of today's video is to show you the difference of Saphir Medal d'Or versus the other commonly available shoe polishes that you can find here in the United States. If you have any questions during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally and love hearing the questions from our viewers. Saphir Medal d'Or is widely considered to be the best shoe polish in the world by shoe aficionados. And the reason is because of the ingredients that Saphir uses in creating this really special shoe polish. At its most fundamental level, Saphir Medal d'Or is different because it suffered none None of the technical progressions of modern polishes. It doesn't use any silicones, it doesn't use any petroleum byproducts, instead it uses only the finest all-natural ingredients to create an absolutely fantastic shoe polish that not only produces a fantastic shine, but is going to nourish and condition your shoes to ensure that the leather stays soft and supple over a long period of time. The Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish uses seven different types of waxes in a Shea Butter in order to provide a high quality shine and long lasting uh, deep nourishment. This is important because it allows the polish to do a better job rejuvenating the finish or the patina of your shoes. And with 14 different colors, you can find that perfect match to your shoes. The Saphir Medal d'Or Pat Deluxe introduces those harder waxes like Montan Wax and Beeswax that produce that high shine and more importantly, if you pursue it, that mirror shine. So the combination of different types of waxes and the high quality of these waxes produce a long lasting shine that you'll find lasts longer than what you get with ordinary polishes. Now the difference with the Saphir Medal d'Or shine is that if you see that it dulls a little bit, a simple rebuffing with the horsehair brush is all that you need to rejuvenate that shine and renew it. You're gonna find that it's longer lasting and it's gonna stay looking better longer. The difference you find with the competing shoe polishes is for one, they use a petroleum-based turpentine that over time is going to actually cause the leather to break down and some of them even use silicones, which can produce a clogging of the pores that leads to the cracking of the leather. With the Saphir Medal d'Or, you don't have to worry about any of that because all of them use, again, an all-natural pine-based turpentine, no silicones, and only the highest quality ingredients to nourish and feed the leather. You also find a much greater variety and higher quality of waxes that's gonna produce the shine that you want in your dress shoes. One of the things that I really love to do here at The Hanger Project in order to demonstrate the difference in quality of the Saphir Medal d'Or shoe polish is to smear them onto a white piece of paper. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to actually showcase how more effective the Saphir shoe polishes are at penetrating the leather and deliver, delivering nourishments. So I've got a white piece of paper here. As you can see, there's no tricks. It's just a simple white piece of paper. And you can do this at home with your polishes also. And so I've got the Saphir Wax Polish, and I'm just going to take this with my finger, right, and smear it onto this piece of paper, okay? Now you can see almost immediately it's beginning to penetrate that paper, and you can see it actually penetrating through the paper and saturating it. So here I have the Lincoln Shoe Polish. Now I'm using all these in neutral just because it allows us to better see this effect. This is a new 10. Now of all of the American made shoe polishes, there's no question that Lincoln is probably the best of what's available. It has a really nice high quality wax, but again, part of the problem with the Lincoln is it's using, and you can smell it, is this petroleum based turpentine. So again, you can see the Lincoln actually did a good job penetrating that paper similar to the Saphir Medal d'Or, but the turpentines in this are petroleum based. So the Kiwi, I'm just getting a little bit of this on my finger. I'm gonna smear that. And with the wax polish, again, we're getting a little bit of penetration, but not nearly as much as the Lincoln, and the Lincoln not nearly as much with the Saphir Medal d'Or. So of these three polishes, again, the Saphir Medal d'Or is gonna do the best in order of penetrating the leather and delivering those nourishments. It's also gonna have a much higher quality, long lasting uh, kind of wax concentration. Uh, but the Lincoln is honestly, 
a, you know, a close second, but is going to be using a petroleum-based turpentine versus the all-natural pine-based turpentine. And then of the three, you know, the kiwi of certainly smells the most toxic of the three. I think that Lincoln actually adds a, um, a perfume, if I remember correctly, and has the least amount of waxes. So if you have a high quality pair of shoes that you care about, I would never let someone use a kiwi wax on those. Uh, Lincoln is okay, but again, here at the Hangar Project, we certainly uh, maintain that the Saphir Medal d'Or is the highest quality. And it's certainly the most pleasant to work with. So the reason that a petroleum-based turpentine is bad for your leather shoes is that the petroleum product is going to actually break down those, uh, those kind of fat and lipids uh, that you have in a natural leather. And so over time, you know, it certainly leads to the degradation of the leather itself. Now, it's not to say that if you polish a pair of shoes with the Lincoln Shoe Polish or even a Kiwi, you're going to immediately ruin them. But if you're someone that's really investing in high quality footwear and you're asking yourself, how can I take the best care of these shoes as possible? You absolutely are going to be taking better care of your shoes with the Saphir Medal Dior than you would Lincoln and especially more than you would be with Kiwi. The second thing to remember is again, the availability of pigment colors and then the quality of the waxes used in the polish itself are going to again, produce a higher quality shine that's longer lasting and that's gonna reshine and rebuff more easily with the simple use of a horsehair brush. So next we're gonna demonstrate the difference between the Saphir Medal Dior Pomadeur Cream Polish, the Meltonian Cream Polish, and the Kelly Shoe Cream. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the Saphir Cream Polish that I did with the wax. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to smear it onto this swatch. Now you can see that's immediately penetrating into that, uh, that paper and you can see how it's fully saturating that paper. The fact that it's turning darker in the same way that if you took a drop of water on the paper is just showing that the polish is penetrating into the leather to deliver that nourishment. Now if I do this with the Meltonian, you're gonna see a dramatically different effect. So Meltonian, is primarily water-based. And so as you can see, again, I'm not doing any tricks here. I've got this on my finger. I'm rubbing it onto the paper. And you can see that it's hardly penetrating that paper at all. So if you're polishing your shoes with the Metel Meltonian shoe polish, you're essentially just rubbing something on the surface of the shoe uh, that's not doing anything to nourish uh, and protect the leather itself. And over time, again, as this accumulates on top of the leather, it's gonna cause the leather to crack. The Kelly Shoe Cream is really similar to the Meltonian in that it's a water-based formulation and is not going to actually penetrate the surface of the leather to do anything. Now, here you're seeing I rubbed a pretty generous amount on top of the paper and it's not even penetrating the paper at all. So if the Kellys and the Meltonian aren't capable of saturating a piece of computer paper, it's certainly not capable of nourishing uh, your leather shoes at all. I mean, a great example is a pair of shoes that I inherited from my grandfather whenever he passed away. Beautiful crocodile pair of shoes that you can see in our How to Shine exotic leather shoes. Now that's different than calfskin, but still, he properly cared for those shoes. I was able to nourish them with the Saphir Reptin whenever I inherited those. And it's a pair of shoes that I absolutely cherish and enjoy wearing. The purpose of this demonstration was to show you how there is a real quality difference in the Saphir Medal Dior shoe polish, particularly in the quality of the solvent or the pine-based turpentine that is used to emulsify the waxes and allow the polish to actually penetrate the leather to deliver those nourishments to feed it. As you saw with the other shoe creams, they weren't even able to penetrate a piece of paper. You can bet for sure that they're not gonna do anything for your leather dress shoes. And with the wax polishes, you could see that between the three, there was a difference, although it was slightly less pronounced than in the, wax, than in the cream polishes. All of the Saphir products used in this video are available on hangerproject.com. 
Check us out to view the largest, most comprehensive selection of luxury shoe and garment care products in the world. If you have any questions about anything we discussed in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. Lastly, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up, or more importantly, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you receive notifications whenever we release new videos. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Here at The Hanger Project, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us.